uh, hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and this is second video guys in this video you know i will uh, give you one more foundation like one more video this is second video where i will take you through what is important to understand before going further to learn uh, linux okay that is known as interface okay so this linux is totally different as compared to windows interface so i will take you through this in this video i hope it is going to be very helpful and uh, in this guys as you can see here in a screen this topic is all about linux operating system cli command line interface and gui graphic user interface and what is the difference between both of them okay and uh, so the very first thing here once again i will give you a quick uh, you know uh, recap of my last video where i spoke about linux operating system couple of things and here once again linux actually means the kernel of the system so it is all about kernel kernel is what which is used to you know uh, virtualize the resources of hardware uh, virtually to provide resources to all the process equally that is the role of kernel basically so if you are talking about uh, linux operating system you are talking about kernel it has very important role in linux operating system uh, which is the slot uh, which is the slow controller of whatever happens on the computer so the kernel will be taking care of whatever is happening on the computer if you are using a linux operating system that is the role of kernel and the linux based kernel can run a wide variety of software okay and across many different hardware based platforms apart from this a computer can act as a server as well as you know if it is a server then which means it primarily handles data on others behalf or can act as a desktop uh, which means a user will be interacting with it directly okay so this is a small intro once again about uh, a linux operating system and uh, the system can run software or it can be used to develop software okay if you are you can use this uh, linux operating system for development of other uh, other system as well uh, this is what you know uh, you can use this linux operating system now i will talk about what is command line interface so cli stands for command line interface okay the command line interface cli is a non graphical first of all it is a non graphical then text based interface to the computer system it is a text based there is no graphic in this i'm talking about cli where the user type in a command and computer then successfully execute it okay so for example uh, here if i want to go to uh, like you know open if i want to go to here i'm i'm very easily opening it okay and uh, like uh, uh, this is what that is called graphical user interface and for example if i want to do anything here in control panel so i can go it very easily like this and then again if i uh, if i want to uninstall anything like that so i'm not doing i'm just showing you but here in cli mode you will not get that kind of thing okay and uh, that terminal is the platform or ide that provides the command line interface environment to user so if you are talking about this is what just now i showed you is windows operating system okay windows operating system so i am getting all gui mode here but i am talking about linux so in linux there is no uh, i mean i should not say, uh, say there is no complete G, uh, gui but yes it has cli more uh, and if you are working on linux operating system so you will be using most of time terminal that will give you platform to execute commands okay and the cli terminal accept the command that the user type and pass it passes to a cell in my previous video i spoke about what is cell okay cell is made mediator between uh, kernel and hardware for example this is my computer and i have installed linux here okay so communication between uh, kernel and hardware will be done with the help of cell 
The cell then receives and interprets what the user has typed into the instruction that can be executed by the operating system. So this is a mediator. Okay, whatever I am typing here, the cell will pass this to kernel and kernel will execute it. This is the role of kernel and cell here. And that all will be done by terminal. And if the output is produced by the specific command, then this text is displayed in the terminal. If any of the problem with the command are found, then some error message is displayed. So let me give you an example here, quick example. I have installed one Ubuntu operating system. Okay. This is what this is. This is called graphical user interface. So I can give password here and I got inside this. I'm talking about this terminal here for that you need to go to you know administration couple of things you can see here games accessories so this is terminal and here you will have to give command for example let me give sudo only first of all so this is command we need to give and we need to use it okay and this is called CLI now I will move to the next so this is what for example I have taken here fully com uh, completely command waste here you will be giving you will be typing you will be giving for example let me let me show you one more time here okay and if i if i type anything here and if it is if this command is not uh, you know available on this operating system so it will give you error so it is telling you the program high is currently not installed for example i'm, I'm showing you and like i'm giving any something something else okay i gave this so it is telling command not found so until unless you enter complete and proper and correct command it will not work now we'll move to the next one that is graphical user interface so guys graphical user interface is also known as GUI and GUI stands for graphic uh, graphical user interface GUI permits users to use the graphics to interact with an operating system in graphical user interface menus are provided such as uh, you know windows scroll bars buttons wizards painting pictures alternatives icons x etc so you will get all those things in graphical user interface and it is simple to find out and reduces psychological feature load in gui the information is shown or presented to the user in any form such as plain text videos images so let me show you an example of this one so let me close this and this is what graphical user friend user interface we, we we call generally so if i want to go anywhere if i want to go to you know i came to system and if i click preferences i'm getting more options here okay and if i click administration for example i want to go to uh like uh, uh i want to go to system testing or update manager anywhere i can go from here or network tools so i came here i can do now uh, configuration for ip addressing and all okay ping testing cards ethernet if i if i want to configure I can, I can configure here wired or wireless then like this edit so i am doing this because of user interface but that is that that is happening only because of gui mode but if i am using cli so in cli i will have to use commands and for that i will have to use terminal okay so you you can see here same thing is mentioned buttons wizards painting pictures alternative icons one once again i will show you a couple of more things here so let me close this for example i'm going to this one okay i'm going to office for example i'm showing you here and any graphic uh let me show you here uh, okay let me go to office for example i need ms excel so this is what i got from here from GI mode, I'm doing this. I'm getting all those things from GUI. I can move here and there. Okay. For example, I have opened multiple uh, uh, applications here. So I can move very easily. It is happening only because of graphical user interface. Now, here, graphical and the non-graphical interface. So what is actually uh, this thing? 
so linux has two approaches one is graphical and one is non graphical so in graphical mode the actual application live in windows that we can resize and move around according to our need we have the menu and tools to help us find what we are looking for okay very simple this is what in i'm talking about graphical this is what graphical just now i showed you for example one more thing i will show you here okay so let me minimize this and this and once again i will go to this and if i want to go to documents i can go easily from here okay anything in desktop no any video download it is i'm doing all those things because of or from graphical user interface okay thrash and uh, this is the point where we will use a required web browser or graphics editing tools and our emails here we can see some example of the graphical desktop with a menu bar or popular applications to the left so here once again i will show you here so you can see here lots of things for example if you click here it is going i mean minimize minimizing okay and uh, just click here active desktop and here also you can see okay and go to places home folder desktop music computer you can see here in computer this is drive you can see file system okay these are the file system this is bin here you will see so this installation i will cover in next video once again how to install it and we'll move to the next here and this is what i was talking about just now this is graphical user interface okay and uh, in graphical mode gui mode we can have many cells open it uh, it is good thing when we are performing some task on multiple remote computers we can even log in uh, with our username and id and password key through gui after successful login we can take remote okay and work on other applications so for example once again i will show you what does it mean uh, for example if you go to there are lots of things here okay i will be covering all those things in my coming coming up videos for example i want to take remote of any computer so i can take that computer as well here okay so i will have to uh, uh this is preference i will show you that somewhere that option is there so we can take remote and we can work very easily remote desktop it is remote desktop so i'm not uh, doing anything here as of now i'm just showing you example if you have multiple things open here you can minimize and close very easily only because of gui mode graphical user interface and uh, what is in non graphical that is cli so guys non graphical mode actually starts off with a text based login okay as shown below so i will show you one example here on a screen we are generally prompted for our username id and password entering that we are then prompted for a password if the login is successful then we are taken straight to execution cell so this is what i was talking about simple example here for example uh, and uh, this is an image of uh, that example so what happens in this in command line interface or cli there are none of the window present to move around we can not move anything in cli mode here once again i will take you to terminal and here you will not have any any anything to move you will have to give complete command for example uh, sudo give here and space l okay so it is asking for password if you give correct password you will be able to log in okay and even though we have specific text editor dedicated web browsers and email clients uh, they are basically just text and this is how unix got its start before the graphical environment became the norm so earlier it was graphical i mean cli mode only there was no graphics but later on graphics came most servers will be running in command line mode only if you are talking about servers yes you will not get any graphical user interface servers are available only on cli modes to because a gui is a waste of resources and data space yes it consumes lots of resource and uh, 
uh, you know resources in data space of your hardware for example whatever if I take uh, if I talk about Windows 10 or Windows 8 okay Windows operating system so they required minimum 8 GB RAM in nowadays why they have lots of graphics lots of very heavy operating system but if you are using uh, Linux operating system it can run on even 2 GB RAM okay that is the difference so why most of people prefer Linux operating system or Linux server for their web development because they are very I mean they are not very heavy they can work uh, they can function very smoothly with less resources you can assign 8 GB 10 GB or 16 GB RAM and you can deploy websites but if you are using Windows operating system then you need 32 GB or 64 GB RAM so guys this is what till now about GUI mode and CLI mode now there are a couple of more uh, you can say differences between GUI and CLI so if I tell you the very first one CLI is difficult to use yes okay and where whereas it is easy to use graphical user but GUI is very simple it consumes low memory very low memory just now I told you it consumes more memory and CLI we can obtain high precision uh, while in it low precision precision is obtained CLI is faster than GUI yes the speed of GUI is slower than CLI CLI operating system needs only keyboard okay GUI we need monitor as well monitor uh, both place we required monitor but here we need mouse as well okay and CLI's appearance cannot be modified or changed we cannot modify uh, appearance of uh, CLI uh, while its appearance can be modified or changed in CLI mode now in CLI inputs is entered only at command prompt we will have to use CLI command prompt in GUI we can be I mean input can be entered anywhere on the screen in CLI the information is shown or presented to user is plain text or end file in, in if we talk about uh, GUI while in GUI the information is shown or presented to the user in any form such as plain text video images CLI there are no menus provided that there, there will be menus and there are no graphics in CLI there is a graphics used in uh, GUI CLI do not use any pointing devices but here we need pointing device in CLI spelling mistakes and typing errors are not avoided but here whereas in GUI spelling mistakes and typing error are avoided so as this video is over here because you should know how you are going to work if you are working on Linux server then you will have to learn as much as commands you can learn but if you are working with any client operating system like Ubuntu and all then you will have to use both graphical user interface as well as CLI so this is what one video I wanted to record for you guys so that you can you should have clear picture about it and next video I'll be talking about the installation okay installation how to install uh, I will show you one client only uh, this is Ubuntu operating system only there we will be learning uh, like you know partition manual partition disk partition for example you have one terabyte uh, hard disk so how you can manually uh, do partition at the time of installation and you can create multiple uh, partition so that I will be going to show you in next video so guys I will meet you in next video I hope this video will be informative and I know even you know what you have to do if this video is informative, comment, share, like and subscribe the channel. So I will meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.